Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. And we're Bars and Barbells, and we've got one of the channel favorites. Ooh, yes. Elvis Presley. We've got You've Lost That Love and Feeling, which is a song that we did from the Righteous Brothers. Yes. Really, really enjoyed the Righteous Brothers. They've been really an eye-opener for us in terms of starting the channel. And, yeah, they were awesome. And uh, we were like, what is this? They were one of the first like older school kind of artists that we did. Yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it broadened our, our horizons initially. Mm -hmm. And we've moved on from there. And now we've got a lot of Elvis on the channel. I've, I've enjoyed Elvis's... Um, renditions that we've got got our eyes on and, mm -hmm. and really you know opened up our spectrum too uh you have as well because you you said your mom used to listen to Elvis growing up right? yeah my mom, mom loves Elvis so for me I was always kind of like what's the hype and now I get it now she understands <laughs> what the hype is all about yes. and you know total package right you know uh, Elvis comes with his performances he has all that energy he's shown us that he has the vocal capabilities mm -hmm. now He's shown us that he's got the creative ability to take on topics like if, on If I Can Dream, yeah. um, you know, something that's uh, more near and dear to a lot of people's hearts and do it in the right way. Yeah, we've seen him have a lot of versatility in yeah. the songs that we've done so far. So. Yeah, and so uh, it's been a great experience thus far. So we're excited to see what else we got here. And uh, this one, it says the Royal Philharmonic orchestra so Ooh, cool. um so i think this is going to be cool because we've seen that before where he adds a lot of instrumentation in his performances mm -hmm. so i'm excited to see what we're going to have here and it's a it was a great song initially so i'm interested to see what elvis does because he tends to really change the, like the dynamic of the song own. like the bridge over troubled water version that yeah. we watched right so anyways those are a few videos you can check out on our channel from elvis if you haven't seen those already if this is your first time to the channel welcome we'd love to have you on board if you want to subscribe you can just hit that button and join us for this ride that we're on yes. you ready let's do it let's do it You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. There's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You try hard not to show it. But baby, 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 I know it. You lost that love and feeling. Oh, that love and feeling. You lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. In your eyes when I reach out for you Girl, you're starting to criticize Every little thing that I do It makes me just feel like crying Yeah, it's so good. It's great. It's got this, you know, lulled down, just that really strong bass line, a little bit of uh, of the cymbal in there, just, you know, over overlaid with his vocal. And, yeah, you I know, love the background vocals, too. Yeah. 
and then they bring in everything they'll yeah. really ramp up the energy and I love it because it's like you're just vibing out and you're listening to his great vocal in itself and then they add in so much more and I really find that I'm enjoying this a lot about Elvis is mm -hmm. that he does so many creative points within these songs and the way it's composed I think is what yeah. really really like makes how they bring all the instrumentation in and stuff. yeah and then he, yeah. he's as usual, always having a great, great yeah, time yeah. on stage, right? Yeah. And um, bring in the energy. Yeah. So you said you like the the backup vocals that they had. Yeah, in, I think had it sounds there. very nice in the background, and it's it's nice because I still really do feel the original version's influence on this. Mm -hmm. But like you said, he's definitely making it his own with the way that he's added in all these instrumentals and the background vocals and like his own sound with his voice. It's it's cool. Yeah, I think he does a great job with some of the covers that we've heard so far anyways of paying tribute to the, to, I mean, I guess the original also is hard to say what is what, but the one that we know of yeah. and we recognize some of the sound from yeah. is a great job in kind of adding some of that structure, but at the same time making his it, it, it his own from the creative standpoint because yeah, he's agree. such a creative artist that's yeah, what i just sure. keep picking up on yeah. he's so creative so yeah. anyways let's see what we got in the back half here i'm excited because i love that and i feel like he might add in something else here because he tends to do that like yeah, i said a little fun yeah Pop something baby baby i'd get down on my knees there yeah I love it that was great um, I think uh, we talked a little bit about the creativity within the songs right I think also what I've noticed sometimes and maybe it's just me seeing this but you know we st it seems like we kind of the baseline energy level gets built out so like you have these peaks and valleys in the songs but like you know almost like a chart in finance like it just keeps going up a little bit so the baseline or the floor of the energy still stays yeah. a little bit higher each time we have a little bit towards of a drawing end, in portion the end, yeah and then you know we kind of always finish with this grand finale that he adds in yeah. which i really love because from a <laughs> yeah exactly from the standpoint of you know keeping you engaged and entertained through the whole performance of a song that's what you would love to see yeah right? for sure yeah no i thought he did awesome and like i said when we stopped it halfway, I, I loved all the little pieces of it, and I had mentioned halfway that I really liked the backup vocals, and then they brought those even more and stronger yeah, they, and continued, which I really liked with that. Like, well, he was singing, they had the female voice kind of doing the um, backup vocals, and definitely felt the energy built a little bit more in that second half as well. Yeah, and I think it was, um, obviously there was a ton of them as well, doing, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. adding that um choir feel to yes. it right uh, Again. almost gospel -y. Yeah. i feel he's like that's, a couple of them yeah i think um he's definitely got some influence uh from that aspect of the gospel feel so yeah. and i like it because it just um adds like layers to mm -hmm. the song so oh, i sure. really, really, definitely really makes it more interesting it. anyways i hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to you've lost that love and feeling from elvis yeah. uh, i did myself 
You enjoyed Loved it? it? Yeah, it was great. All right. Well, that's two of us saying we enjoyed it. Hopefully you did as well. If you did, hit that like button for us. And uh, leave us a comment. Let us where let us know where you want us to go with Elvis. There, I know he's got a large catalog, and we've enjoyed a lot of it thus far. So we're definitely open to to taking this journey a little bit further with him. All right, that's it from us today. We'll be back soon. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>